when this is being recorded. In case you guys can't tell, I've been really far behind on editing content. This is coming out way later than it should have, so that's unfortunate. But anyway, I just got first ride of the day on Screaming Eagle Blue Train Zen Ride Front Row. A lot better than my first ride on it when I was here a couple days ago. Quite a bit smoother, I thought, and the airtime was better. But it doesn't compare to the ride I had at the end of Saturday, which actually the last two rides I had, because both of them were night rides. I didn't get to celebrate my 21st birthday last year because the park wasn't open that day and I wasn't able to really do anything else. So we're changing that today, guys. Uh, from 11 to 7, we might have a pretty big enthusiast takeover. And by pretty big, I really mean me, Ryan, Ellis, and then my friends Lily and Will. You guys might have seen in some of my vlogs from last year, mainly during Double Days. So we're gonna head down towards Justice League now because I saw that Boss is not open because they're spraying water on the first turnaround. Or the turn out the mid course. I forgot which one it was. It's one of those two. So Boss isn't gonna be open for a while. What's significant about today is that six years ago, I maxed out Justice League for the first time ever. You heard that right. Six years ago on my birthday, I maxed out Justice League for my first time. So that's very cool. And it was a total coincidence too. I didn't plan for that to happen, but I just did. So that was nice. I had a phenomenal performance last time I was here. Two double maxes, including multiple runs that were very close to double maxes, but weren't quite there. So let's see how we do on Justice League today. Man, there is hardly anybody here besides those people on those benches over there. To be fair, it did look like it's gonna rain some today, but as of now, it's held up. But then again, the park hasn't even been open for 10 minutes yet. So what do I know? Rode Justice League a few times. I actually double maxed it second try, and then Ryan didn't quite get it till his third try. My blasters weren't working. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have the best of luck. And then we rode front and then the back on Mr. Freeze. And the back row, what the heck? I don't know what was up with that thing today. Like, yeah, it's so oh my gosh. Cool. Yeah, there were so many moments where we were graying out. And the inverted top hat. Coming back into the station, you get a floater, then you get hang time, and then you get ejector. There's three different forces. That's yeah. Like stupid. Usually it's like one, maybe two of them at a time but all three of them, I don't think I've ever had that happen like before. So dumb. That was by far the best coaster ride of the day. We haven't done Boss yet, so we're gonna go over here right now and try it, which actually, you haven't been here since we were at Kentucky Kingdom, Hall Holiday World, and Kings yeah. Island. Don't hate me for this, but I like Kentucky Fire better than Boss right now. I feel like a lot of people would agree with you on that because Boss is very polarizing. The reason why is because the op let us get some rooms. So. Yeah, and also, what do you think about how Joker looks over there? That's crazy. I don't know when it's gonna open, but... Yeah, who knows? Knowing how far behind I've been on editing content, I wouldn't be surprised if by the time this comes out, Joker opens. I see no chance of this beating Mystic Timbers. Brian has Mystic Timbers ranked over Boss, which I do not agree with, not even close. Like, I only found out that Mystic Timbers runs good when the track is wet, where Boss runs good in almost any condition for that matter. So, let's see how this thing runs today, and I imagine it will be better than Screaming Eagle, but Freeze I don't see happening. But I've been wrong before, so let's see how it runs. <laughs> getting a trimless ride on boss my prediction was correct i did not find it better than freeze but i do prefer boss over screaming eagle ryan what'd you think awesome you were ragdolling on that ride quite a bit yeah the hard turn around that drop i kind of ragdolled you somehow get airtime in the front row going down the last turn around Oh yeah, they'll turn out the mid course. I think you might have said that in a previous vlog. Like, really weird. The yeah. airtime hill in the second half gives you lateral kinks through it. Yeah, that hill was running pretty good last week. And maybe it wasn't quite as good today, but it's still solid. Since you last written it, how does it compare to some of the other woodies you've been on recently? I think I like it better than Kentucky Flyer now. Good, but, as you should. Kentucky Flyer is so mid. But Mystic Timbers kills it. The ran rides I got on Mystic were insane. I'll give it that. But other than that, Boss kills Mystic for me. And it's starting to rain now, in case you guys can't You know what? Out. I saw a Nemesis Reborn. Oh, that's right! I didn't see it, but you saw a Nemesis Reborn show. That was Nemesis pretty cool. Nemesis Reborn hoodie. I can't believe someone's already ridden it and is going to this part. Yeah, that's crazy. We're gonna go try Scream and Eagle now, because it's been about an hour since I've ridden it, but you haven't ridden it in a while, because I think you haven't like ridden it since. Weeks. Yeah, three weeks. It's tough to say whether you like this or Racer Kings Out, but because you really enjoyed Racer this year. Yeah, I really <sighs> They're neck and neck right now. This could be the decider as to which is actually better, but my ride earlier was pretty solid. Not too much air time, but it was perfectly smooth, which boss I thought was running very smooth today as well. These brakes up here, I feel like are gonna close on us, so we gotta see what happens here. Will it stop the train? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is way too loud. Like, they're closing them too late. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if they're trying to slow the train down, but anyway. We're gonna go try Screaming Eagle now and see how that runs. Shut up. 
all the coasters down for a bit, but we're back in operation, at least that's for right now. Once all the taller rides reopened, I got another ride on Mr. Freeze, front row and back row. Well, I prefer the back row for my first couple rides. I think I like the front row better on the second one because rain rides are always more insane in the front. I rode Mr. Kimmer's The King's Island a couple weeks ago in the rain, and that was absolutely ridiculous. GCI's really run ridiculous in the rain because Ryan told me Thunderhead at Dollywood was also like that, where he rode that in the rain. So I'm gonna see if that holds true to American Thunder, which I'm about to ride front row blue train. If it's anything like my ride on Mystic Timbers where the train accidentally came undone somehow and by our train I really need seatbelt, that would be crazy. Uh, so Watch out for that 80 foot rock. <laughs> GCI's running insane in the rain and still proved true because American Thunder just tried to kill us. What'd you guys think? Top right, tier first. in the rain. Yeah, top tier. Um, last hills were flow jector. Even like the long drawn out one. And then Ellis, what'd you think? It was insane, dude. When it comes to wood coasters in general, the rain rides are phenomenal, man. Yes, they make them very smooth, which is something we've had a bit of an issue with on American Thunder for this year. Not at all an issue this time. I still think I like Mr. Freeze better, but that was still phenomenal. I think that ride beat Apocalypse for me. Since American Thunder Thunder in the rain was so good. We're gonna try the other Woody's in the rain. So first up is Boss. We are on our way to the top of Noah. It's time to sit back and relax and enjoy the drops. We knew what we were signing up for on that one. Yeah, it was still all right, but the night rides we had on Saturday, it was way better, dude. Yeah, and what are you doing? I ragdolled that whole ride in the last turn. I just went, whoa. <laughs> uh, I was gonna talk about what we just did right there with the water. But... Yeah, why? Why'd you do that? Because it's fun. Ryan brought up a good point. We just did our first ever rain ride on Rookie Racer, and I can't lie. It rode pretty similar to how it usually runs without the rain. Very similar. Definitely the least contrast between how it is normally and how it is with the rain. Like, it's nothing compared to what we had with American Thunder or Boss or Mr. Freeze. I was in the back, you guys were in the front. First time I rode the back in quite some time, actually. I don't know if you guys saw that, but don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are up to. No! <laughs> you guys are crazy. Oh, we got someone getting shots with their actual camera yeah. here, so I gotta stand clear of them. We're gonna go try and get on Eagle now, see how that runs. A shuttle.
Eagle front and second to back. I thought the front was better. And then I just rode Batman front row, which was intense. I had a glasses strap on this thing because in the past I felt my glasses slipping without the strap on. So I'm like, okay, I need to start riding this with a strap. And then I lost my glasses strap on Batman somehow because one of the ends came undone and the other one came off without me even knowing. So that's just wonderful. I've only done Justice like a few times. It's been a couple hours since I've done it. So let's head back that way and get some more maxes in. I don't know if I said this or not yet, but they're closing the park an hour early today. It was supposed to close at 7, but due to weather and the very light crowds, they're closing it at 6 today. So that's very unfortunate. Justice League has been giving all of us some trouble. One of my rides, the blaster only went up in the first screen. That's uh, like 600,000. Even though I did so well the rest of the ride, the score didn't change. So did I max it? I really don't know. Like, it really remains a mystery. As bad as I want to say I did, I can't really say because there's no proof I have been. I think in picture of it was 610,000 the entire time. So in terms of how well I shot, I think I got more than enough to need to max it, but the display itself says otherwise. I'm going to try and figure out how we can get a plan B quad max. In other words, I have to try and double max it, and then Ryan and Alice have to max one. We're trying to figure out the most effective way to make that happen. So let's keep experimenting with this thing, see what we can find. I just now realized that I am about to hit a very big milestone on this thing. I have double maxed it 99 times as of now, so this next one will be my 100th double max. I couldn't quite get my 100th double max because I messed up on the last ride, but I was able to make up for it by getting the last ride of the night on Mr. Freeze. So, awesome way to end the day. I will be reviewing my ride count because I don't know what I rode today. I did so much and I'll share that. I didn't film an outro at the park, but my final ride count was 19 on Justice League, 5 on Mr. Freeze, 3 on Screaming Eagle, 2 on Boss and Rookie Racer, and then 1 on American Thunder and Batman. In terms of highlights, the amount of rain rides I got were insane. The Boss, American Thunder, and Mr. Freeze are all some of the craziest rain rides you can experience out there. There. And that's not even to mention Scrim Eagle, which is also great in the rain. And the light crowds throughout the day was really nice, even though it did result in the park closing early. I also enjoyed hanging out with Ryan and Ellis for the day, and even though Lily and Will couldn't make it because of the weather, I still had a great time. And before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you can notify it every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.